Hey, this is Channel Marshmallows. I'm going to be doing a quick video on Transformers, Dark of the Moon, Human Alliance, Bumblebee with Sam with Wiki. Yep. Uh, it's pretty cool, you know. He does have a few features I find cool. Like that. Like this this part right here. I mean, it looks like a roller coaster seat. You know, they hold it on there and do like a loop or something. Wee! Yeah. That works pretty good. And okay, let me just straighten him up here. Take Sam out. And really, you just fold that down there. If I can get it to fold down there. There we go. And then you just rotate it and put it out of viewer, out of sight. And, uh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> um, that's about it, really. His missile does fire, though. It's, it's really cool. I mean, it's, it's kind of powerful, really. And he will come up here. He will sit up there. Which is really stupid because it's really a flat gun, honestly. Yeah, you just have to. Yeah, but it's, it's really, I mean, it's kind of cool, you know. I wish they could have done some more paint on the grill, but it looks like that soft rubbery paint. It looks kind of cool, you know. It really does look kind of cool. Let me just uh, try to find a way to reposition his arm. There we go. That's pretty much, that's better. There we go. But anyway, I mean, it's pretty good articulation. He can go forward, back, side to side. He has a double hinged knee. And his foot is also hinged because of transformation. On the arms, he has a hinge and a swivel, not a ball joint. Uh, a single hinged elbow. His hand, it can turn 360, has a joint right here, and right here, so his thumb can move too. That's about it. I think his eyes do glow. Let me just. I think his eyes glow a little bit. That's really about it. So uh, let's, let's transform him real quick. Okay, what we'll to do first? We untab the chest from here. Let's get the feet out of the way. You're gonna take his feet and just fold it down. You're gonna we're gonna fold this back down. You're gonna push the foot up. So fold this back down a little bit. Push the foot up, you're gonna collapse it down and rotate this, the knee. So collapse it down and rotate the knee. Then you twist it around. Fold this part out, again twist it around. Fold this part out. It's on a double hinge. Yep, it's definitely on a double hinge. Then you can just push this down right here. Push this down here. Yeah. Go. Right about there. Now you're going to take this panel and just push it right there. Put it right there. You want to straighten it out a little bit too. Before you do anything, you just want to straighten it out just a little bit. There. And then. Bring this over here. Tab it in. Bring this over here. He has a pretty easy transformation. It's just he's kind of tight. Oh, he's really tight. Okay, now you want to just push the head in. Okay. Fold. Sorry about that. Fold this up. Just peg it in right there. You may need some wiggling real quick. Get it down, but just okay. There we go, pretty much. So right here, uh... oh, okay, that's what it is. Um, now you're gonna take the arms, bring it down, kind of push on it just a little bit, and flip this around. Bring up the door, and you're gonna snap this cannon in half. Bring it down. I know this is a pretty quick review, and I'm not really talking about the figure really at all. But you know, it's, it's pretty cool. Peg that in. 
And you can close the door if you want. Okay. Okay, now you're gonna just pull it down, flip this up, rotate it all the way around, and you're gonna collapse the hand on here. And then you're gonna bring it down, do you rotate it? And pull it down, you're just gonna apply a little bit of pressure on here. Try to collapse it down as best as you can. Then okay. you're just gonna have to. Yep, there we go. Then you're gonna close the door. You can if you can get it to close. But... Okay. Now you're gonna take this. You're gonna fold this up. Fold this up. Collapse the wheels. You're there pretty much. Okay, let me just, uh, one sec. Let's just, ah, huh, whatever, that's bumblebee. Um, really, he's a pretty good figure, honestly. There's really nothing bad to say about him, except that he's a little bit blocky. By the way, this is a, um, I think it's an exact repaint of the first Game of the Lights Bumblebee they came out with. So, the figures, they did some changing to him, so he will not fit in his car. I guess you could try this, though. But it will 